do is a basic snouser groom. I myself have been grooming for eight years and this is how I was trained in the United States to do it. Um, they express that this is just a pet groom and by no means a groom suitable for the show ring. I always do a rough cut before I get them in the bathtub. The less hair they have on them, the less drying time. Getting the hair out of the underpad is really beneficial, not beneficial I should say. Not only is it stop them walking so much stuff in the house, but it's a good time to check to make sure there's no grass seeds, sticks or anything else in there that's embedded into the skin. hurt a lot of dogs some are fine with it but if you don't take it out you can have a dog that's going to be prone to ear infections so you don't want a vet bill at the end of it so you just so, pull it out with your hands so do you I pull it with my fingers okay grab hold and good pull. boy Shadow. you're a great boy <laughs> if somebody is starting out on a schnauzer and it's its first clip whatever. Um, it just takes a lot of patience to get them used to them with the clipper, get them used to the clippers. What I can suggest is using the clippers on them for a long period of time with the part that doesn't bite. This will give them the vibration sensation and you can get them settled without having to worry about cutting them if they pull away from you. Mm -hmm. So that may take up to half an hour. It just depends on the type of dog, especially around the head area. Okay, brave. You're going to be a new man. <laughs> Another thing, if you have a dog that has large mats, where this is no good, thing you can do is, if you need to cut them out, you wouldn't cut across like this because it'll leave a horrible line. Half your dog, the longer hair area, just squeeze the hair. Don't rub. So we're off to have a bath, are we? We're off now to go and have a bath. Cool. We're just Chick. using a general shampoo here. Yeah. Does it matter what you use, it really? It doesn't matter unless you have a dog. Any dogs can be have sensitive skin skin problems not just snouses. If you do you can buy um, more gentle shampoos, things for the exact condition that your dog has whether it be dandruff. Okay, let's take you back. Round two. <laughs> just don't like the dryer on their face period. Shadow, he didn't like the air in his ears. So an easy way is just to cover up the ear and that can always sometimes fix a problem. Okay. okay. Biggest thing is you don't want your dog to have a bad experience. The first or second grooming doesn't go well, you can scar them for life. They need to know there's nothing to be scared of. And you need to make it as painless as possible. Don't to, to, to go too far. Okay, if I just snip off a little bit here. This is a comb, just a steel comb. Um, again, it's better paying money for something that's decent, that you know is going to last. You can buy, come across some cheap, well, cheapo couple of dollar combs. But if you have a dog that's badly matted, You'll put it through and it'll break. Mm -hmm. um, this cost me about $10, $10, $15 US. 
and um, I've had this for five years now. Mm -hmm. And there we should have one happy, pretty, handsome, handsome schnauzer. Wow. Thank you, Anne. No worries. He Thank looks you. gorgeous. Hopefully it'll be some help to people. Give them an idea how to groom their own schnauzer.